Hello again, and you join me once again in the workshop. Uh, today, we are not looking at an engine or loco. We are looking at something else. We are looking at this machine vice. Now, this is the one I use on the mill. It's Dad's old one. Has no handle. Uh, the handle shaft doesn't pull the jaws back, but that's fine. They pull back just fine. If you wind it out too far, there is a bend kink in the shaft and the jaws get stuck. That's not the problem. It's nice and heavy, nice and solid. It's old. It's got to be getting on for 40, 50 or more years old now. The problem though is it looks like the surface of the moon, which is fine all the time you've got something in it up against the jaws because there is that ledge in there. But if you need your parallels back here somewhere, or you need some sort of reference, say you had the jaws open to there. Unless you try packing it out a bit, or working off, and you, and you get it, you get the picture, it's a pain in the ass. Put it back in the middle, clock it straight off that back jaws, as it would be if you set it up. Stick a milling cutter in the middle, and this bit, this bit for an example, you could mill out the size of the bit of metal to be used down to just shy of depth. Inlay that, bolt it through, remill out the slots for the nuts, for the T nuts on the bottom, and then skim it back true. Right, we bolted back down. Got a cutter in there. Yeah, it's hanging out a long way. And it's about the smallest cutter I could get away with that could stick out far enough because if we bring this right down and touch it on the bed, I think we've got just enough clearance in there by the time it cuts down to clear the collet. Right, we're down to depth, which is a little bit shorter than that than that bit of steel. Now we're going to open the open the slot right back to the to the milling cutter. Just kisses that jaw face. Right, and that should be it. Just giving it a sweep out, a sweep out. Look at that. There we go. So the next thing to do will be to, I want to reuse that hole there because I believe that goes all the way through. Oh, it doesn't quite go up. Okay, we're definitely going to reuse that hole there. Right, so we've drilled our first hole in that mark that was already there. Um, these are going to be M6 bolts that go in. Uh, countersunk so I can mill the head flush and it will still keep hold of it um, the uh, tap wrench won't go down past the jaws so we're improvising with a pair of spanners um, this hole is drilled right through but we're going to need to shorten the bolt anyway because it's too tall <laughs> and it's the only ones I had so we're going to cut the bolts down in a minute quick check in because I forgot to hit record we've milled out these now you can see once this one appears to be slightly smaller than that um, 
there it is but it, believe it or not it's only 10 thou so it's not enough to matter the ends have been machined flush with this black back casting not actually next to this because i can't get a mini cutter in there so it's off this back step over here and the something there so it's slightly wider um but the last thing and the reason i didn't do this last because now i've milled into here is put a burr up there which isn't good so we're going to switch back to the fly cutter and whiz right across it taking it down to the final level of the uh, original bed And we are done. The eagle eyed may notice those slots for the for the slides are much deeper. Yes, they are. There's the cutter to prove it. Um, I went by the bottom depth in there, and they actually need to go a lot further. <laughs> so, a bit of careful measuring, and we are there. So this means it's all nice and true. They are, I can't feel the difference between the two beds or the, or the bolts holding it down. That is true to the bed, which is true to the head, which means I can get some nice parallels across there for doing the smaller parts I need to do on Northumbrian and Bantam. Uh, it does mean parallels this isn't a parallel, but the parallels now sit all nicely all the way up there and can keep going all the way back. So that's job done. Uh, thanks Tom for the uh, suggested method. <laughs>